Hi friends. What a day it's been already. Uh, it's uh, five o'clock Friday, thank God, right? Five o'clock somewhere. I'd love to have a little cocktail tonight. Not to gonna, cause I'm fasting. What? Gotta be close to uh, 24 hours. I was, let's see my notes. I was 155.1, so I gained only 0.4. That is amazing. Of course, a little worried about that. I didn't lose and ate, but I never, I mean, I don't think I'll ever lose weight and eat. <laughs> It just never has worked for me like that. But to only gain 0.4, and I ate until content at lunch. And not going to lie, I had a few more peanut M&Ms. But woke up, I was very surprised, 0.4. That's great. And I don't really know what I'm going to do about the... Uh, if I'm going to keep it to one pound or two pounds, I'm going to kind of see what tomorrow brings because, and this is, I'm sure I had to write it down, so it's not like anyone's going to follow it. But So the original goal was 153.9, which is only like, what is that? What did I write? I wrote 1.2. Is that it? One pound would be... 154. Yes, okay. So 1.2 pounds brings me to a new low and the original goal. But I really should be able to pull more than 1.2 for a first day. Although I didn't have a lot of carbs. So it might be a slow and steady kind of thing. But... If I go one pound under, I have to lose 2.2. And obviously, if I want to go stay on track for lose two pounds every time, I would be down to 151.9. So all three of those are very doable. 1.2, 2.2, and 3.2. I've done that all before. But usually the bigger numbers are after a carb refeed. So we will see. And I do plan to go for a walk. It's pretty nice out right now. My husband's going to come with me, so I'm just waiting. Um, let's see. I think I am going to try some yoga. I've always wanted to do that hot yoga. So I looked into a place by me, and it's so expensive. Wow. So I don't know. I might do like... A week of I somebody gave me a suggestion I think Mary did gave me a suggestion of a girl on YouTube um, and she's got like a beginner series so I thought maybe I could try it I really wanted to try like the the strength hold, holding positions learn those I'm not really like I know how to do warrior and downward dog and child's pose and those kind of things I'm kind of interested in learning um, those strength poses like pigeon and um, crow and things like that but I'm gonna look into it some more but I think that's what I'm leaning towards for this maybe next week starting a um like a weekly challenge Monday Tuesday actually Tuesday this week is my diet that's done so I need to have lost I need to be between 157.6 and no more than 144.5 so I think I should be good. I, I know tomorrow is going to throw me off a little bit, but I don't know. This would be so exciting if I only had to do every other day fasting. So I might need to be more responsible with those refeeds so I can do that, you know? Um, I told, um, I'm sure she doesn't care now because she answered some people, but I told Joanne, the skinny on me, um, that you guys were all pulling for her and, you know, asking about her. So I think she's going to come on tonight or tomorrow 
and tell everybody. I don't know what, I don't know if she's going to put someone on blast or she's just going to say how she's feeling or what. But I told her we all support her. And, oh, guess what happened? So this, I have a secretary and she, um, she's a casual seasonal worker. And she was exposed to somebody who was exposed to COVID. So they forced her to um, isolate for 14 days. So she's been gone. She's actually been gone a little bit longer than that. And she came back earlier last week, I think, last week. And then she stopped me yesterday and said, Sarah, you're so tiny. <laughs> tiny? I was like, that was like the nicest thing. I, re I And I probably have said this before. I remember when my husband told me the last time I was about this weight. He came pulling up in the driveway and was like, I don't think you should lose any more weight. You're getting kind of skinny. <laughs> um, if you're a guy, tell a girl she's skinny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no one's ever called me tiny. Oh, my God. And I, I don't really, you know, consider myself tiny, but man, it was nice to hear. <laughs> and she thought I was nuts that I said, oh yeah, I'm 10 pounds. She's like, oh, another 10 pounds. I know, it was great. <laughs> great to hear. Um, ooh, the reason why I said I'm glad it was Friday because today was terrible. We had some real bad thunderstorms come through last night and the night before, like all purple on the radar and getting a ton of rain. And I, at work, apparently a bad storm came through and knocked out all my instruments, knocked out all the power everywhere. Um, so when I walked in this morning, the air doesn't work. The airflow doesn't work. The air conditioning doesn't work. We run on this like broiler system that either pushes cold air or hot air out. And it was alarming. Everything was alarming. Every window was like full of condensation. It was just a complete mess when I walked into work, you know, seven o'clock on a Friday morning. Ugh. So I had to like, you know, put out all these fires this morning. And um, I work in a separate building. With the, the Department of Agriculture has two buildings, one a main building where almost everybody works. And then we have a, um, a laboratory uh, across the parking lot. And that's where I work. And I, and I really um, enjoy it because we're off in our own little section and don't have to deal with the main building ever. But today they had some airflow problems too. They have a new incinerator over there. So I guess all the incinerator stuff was coming back from a vent in the roof. So they all got to go home at noon. I was like, fuck, the one time I want to work over there. But since our airflow was messed up too, at 1.30 we got to go. And I was going to go grocery shopping and, oh, I got my new sunglasses. I did go pick those up. I'll show you guys. But I, um, I decided to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Just because I, I had a return to do and I didn't have it with me. Not because I'm lazy. I came home and did my Spanish. And I did watch some garbage TV. I like uh, The Real Housewives. So that was taped on the DVR. Sometimes I just like to do that and watch my crap. I do prefer to eat crap while doing that. But I'm holding strong. Here's my new sunglasses. You ready? What do you think? I like this. Can you see it? It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Hopefully they'll stay on my face. That's what I hate. I'm always sliding down my face, but they feel pretty good. So yeah, I picked up my sunglasses, sat in a bunch of traffic with a bunch of Torons because it's Labor Day and everybody and their mother's coming to the beach. So I tend to not go anywhere this weekend. I know we're going out for a date night, but it'll be late. And it'll be heading, we'll go, we're going to go north instead of south, so. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah. So, rough day at work. I'm going to go walk. I'm going to try to do at least, let's say, 
Maybe I can push my husband to an hour and a half. Yesterday I walked pretty fast, under nine, under 19 minutes for six miles, I think I did. So that probably has five miles. That has something to do with, I'm sure, that I sweated off my lunch. No bathroom today. Man, a lot of you guys have the same problem. I was surprised. And um, I did take the magnesium citrate last night, but I did have a nice, you know, food in my belly. So I slept much better. Although we stayed up pretty late last night. Um, but I felt like I slept better. Like maybe I slept deeper or whatever. And I did sleep until the alarm went off at six. So that was good. So I'll keep taking the magnesium citrate. Although no, no poopy, excuse me, no poop, uh, production. <laughs> I don't know what to say. 155.1, going to start some yoga next week if anyone wants to do some videos with me. Um, I think that's it, guys. I know a couple of you said you like my longer videos, but what, what, do I, what do I talk about? I mean, I have lots I've written down that one day I'll, like we could talk about, but if there's something you want to ask me, ask me. But, um... Let's do gratitude and I'll go walk and not eat. That's the key, not eating. Oh God, this is a big word. <laughs> I don't feel smart all of a sudden. Chris, Crystal Alice is, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, and it's a long cart. All right. Not all butterflies come from cocoons. Some of them start off as caterpillars who can't stop chowing down on weeds and get so fat and lazy that they end up hanging themselves from their butts and pulling out of their skin and hardening themselves into a shell called a chrysalis. Chrysalises? Chrysalis. Then inside that shell, their whole bodies turn to soup. Yeah. They completely liquefy. Then they transform into fucking butterflies. Don't this give you hope? Maybe you're not fucked up. Maybe you're just butterfly soup. We're all just butterfly soup. And we're going to be beautiful butterflies one day. Crystal, crystallalysis? Crystallysis is? Crystallysis? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a big word. All right, my peeps. I'm looking forward to Joanne's whatever she's going to say. And um, Jen, I got your, your email. And we can definitely be fasting buddies. Anybody. We can, we can, you, I need all the sponsors I can get, right? So holding strong, a little tired. I would love to eat, but I'm okay knowing I'm going to eat nice, good foods tomorrow and have a cocktail. So that's all for me, guys. I think. I think that's it for today. I'm going to go walk.